Forget the bouncy blow dry of seasons past. This year, it's all about relaxed texture with a strong part line. Now, Sam, what's the first step in creating this look? Okay, so the first step here, we're going to be using the heat protection mist. We want to make sure that we're protecting the hair from the heated tools. I'm now going to go through with my hair dryer and I'm just going to really rough dry it. I'm just going to go through using my hands as big combs. I'm not going to be going through with like a big round brush because I don't want to smooth it out. I still want that texture in there as well for that undone feel. Now what I'm going to be doing to place the movement in the hair is I'm going to be taking random sized sections and I'm going to be using my curling one. The reason that it's important to use a curling wand over a pair of straightening irons is because this is round, so you're going to get a nice round, clean shape to your movement. If you use a straightening iron, it's almost square, so as you pull it down the hair, you create a flat, elongated curl, basically. So with this, we're going to have more fullness, more shape, and more definition. This is perfect kind of movement in the hair anymore. Then we start to go back again to that Victoria's Secret low waist. What you'll find, this is a lot easier than wrapping hair around irons and pulling it down the hair as well. And so the hair's cool now, what's the next step? Just going to use a wide tooth comb. I'm going to brush from the root, through the mid links and ends, all the way down. And what we start to do with that is we start to break up the curls and we start to get elongated waves through there as well. The more we brush it, the more the waves going to drop out. That looks gorgeous. So how do you get that grittiness now? I'm going to use the sculpting powder and I'm just going to be randomly again, just going through the top. You can just put the dust into the palm of your hand, work it through, and then we're just going to rub it through the mid links and ends. This is just going to give you, again, take away that shine and give you that matted, a bit more rugged texture through there as well. So to finish the look, what we're going to do is we're just going to place the hair in front of the shoulders and just shake it out just to help break that texture. Bearing in mind, it's really important that we're keeping this nice and flat and under control with a little bit of texture, but then the volume and the main movement is just through the, the mid links and ends. This can use a flexible hold hairspray just to give it a little bit of hold and just maintain that, that movement we've put in there. And there we have our finished look.